guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be planting up our very first outside spring container. I'm so excited and I'm ready to see color. We're gonna work on the kitchen window box because that's the one we see most often. Now you can see it's a little bit breezy today and it's still fairly chilly. I usually wait until temperatures at night are hovering right at or just above freezing. We're getting very, very close, which might mean I'm gonna watch the forecast. I might have to toss a piece of that uh, frost protection cloth over our container. Look at the wind. It wasn't windy earlier when I was thinking about doing, doing this, but we are going to forge ahead. I wanted to start out here to show you the snowdrops, which are finally in bloom. Look at these sweet things back here. I just noticed that yesterday they started to open. I noticed they had been budded up for a few days, but they are just such pretty little flowers back here. And you know, every year is different, but I feel like for the last few years at least, snowdrops are long gone by this point and we're already enjoying daffodils. I mean, our daffs are only up about this far. Uh, and I'm thankful because it's been a very, very moist spring. Is, is it even spring technically yet? But it's been a very moist month. Last year at this time, Erin and I were looking at pictures and we already had our sprinkler system on. Benjamin was already out. Like we have pictures of him running through the sprinklers. It was much warmer and much drier. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me with the wind. We'll be protected over here though. All right guys, so you can see where we're gonna be working. We're only gonna be planting this window box. I'm planning on maybe not planting as many spring arrangements this year because it's so late. Typically we're planting summer arrangements starting the first week of May. So we would only get to enjoy them for such a short amount of time that I don't really feel like it's worth the money or effort to fill up as many containers as we usually do. But I wanna hit the main ones, you know, like the main doorways, maybe the chicken coop window box, that sort of thing. These plants were part of our very first load of spring flowers down at the garden center. I've been hanging on to them for weeks in the greenhouse and they are ready to come outside. These are the cocoa mint hookra. They're so beautiful. Look at how tall these bloom stems are and they are the most gorgeous color. I don't know if you can see that very well. I can't in the camera. They're kind of a smoky mauve. They're so gorgeous. And then we've got the frizzle sizzle blue pansies. We've got the ballerina sweet apricot primrose. I need to groom all of these. I'm seeing some spent blooms on some of these. We've got the acarus. This is the ogon, which is perennial, and we're gonna be planting these when we're done, just right over there. I brought out a few of the English daisies. I'm not sure if we'll use those. Same with the ranunculus, only brought one. I think they look really pretty, kind of has a tropical vibe to it. Um, we'll see. We may go grab more of these. We're also going to be working some of the land and sea into the existing soil. The soil that is in here currently is nice and fluffy. It's not super taxed and I, I can't remember at what point last year we switched all the soil out, but I'm not gonna do a full swap today. I just wanna recharge it with some compost and we should be good to go. Now, something about my spring containers and my fall containers, I always like to mention, uh, I always pack them pretty darn full, like they're brimming when I'm done. But keep in mind that these are only gonna be in here for a few short weeks before we're taking them out and most of these we can reuse. Perennial, perennial, we can save the corms perennial. Since they won't be in here for a long time when it's really warm, when they would actually be putting on active growth, they can happily live smooshed in together looking full and gorgeous for a few weeks so we can enjoy them for spring. I typically do that with all spring and fall arrangements though because the summer ones are the ones you want to leave room for the plants to grow because those are the ones you know, like super tunias, they need a ton of space. But nothing I have here will need it in the time we're going to have it in here. Okay, let's get this planted. You guys, it turned out so cute. Look at how fresh these flowers look. Oh my goodness. And 
I honestly love the long hookara stems here. I went inside to see what it looked like before I planted them because I thought, oh my goodness, these are going to be tall and kind of obscuring our view a little bit, but they're so light and airy that they just look really pretty. It almost looks like, I mean, a bouquet that you can see from inside. And there's a certain like fairy magic to these blooms. I mean, look at those. Ah. They are so awesome. So I ended up with five of the hookahs. So one is centered and then, you know, two flanking. There are six of the acarus all together. And I just did those in between, well, on the sides and then in between. And then I just uh, alternated pansies with primrose. And I think that brought such a unified look to it. And they're so pretty. I did put the weakest looking hookah toward this end since we don't walk by it as much. Oh. I love it so much. We did take the screen out too. I didn't think to do that until after the whole container was done, but it does give the whole thing a very unified appearance. And honestly, I don't ever open that kitchen window or very rarely because I can't reach the latch <laughs> over the sink. I actually have to step on a chair to open it. So I just don't do it. So if I don't have to have a screen, then awesome. This is just such a welcome sight this time of year. Oh, I can't be done with just one container. We're going to head to the front door now and we'll do just the two urns that are up there. I actually got a new mat, welcome mat, and a couple new pillows to go up there as well. It's time to spring that area up a bit. So this is the front door and the pots we are going to plant. I brought up some really bright primrose. I've got some other things in the gator, but let's do a quick doormat swap. I do love this doormat. A lot. I think it's so pretty. I even might move this one to the kitchen door. But check out this new one. It is so cute with the strawberries and matching pillows. I picked these up at Joann's a few weeks ago. It might have even been a couple months, maybe a month, two months ago. I can't remember. It's been a while. And I've been so excited to bring them out and use them. Well, it's quite a bit smaller, but that's okay. It's still cute. Oh. That looks so sweet and springy. Samantha loves these pillows. These are the rest of the primrose. I was thinking about doing every other, like doing an apple blossom and then doing one of the darker pink ones and just wringing one of these lemon cypress, kind of keeping it on the simple side. I did bring up some stuff though, a hookara and some of that beautiful saxifrage right here on the Alyssa. And we could do a mixed container, but sometimes simplicity and just a repeat of one thing is kind of what I want. I'm so visual though, that a lot of times I just have to lay it out and see if I like it. That's a nice, nice size for these pots. Okay, let's get these planted. Just kidding guys, I had to try this. I had to try just laying it out a little bit differently and I think in the end, I will like all the different color and texture. That's so pretty. Okay, now we plant. sweet these turned out. I love them. I'm glad I went with the hookah and the alyssum too because they're so fluffy and beautiful. They added a lot of bulk. I think that they may have, may have looked a little bit too skimpy just to do the primrose around the lemon cypress, especially because my mat is a little smaller now. I don't know. I like the proportion. So the hookah is a forever purple. Then I can't remember. I think this is actually called a violet primrose. And then this is the White Knight Alyssum. We've got a really pretty pink cyclamen and then of course our lemon cypress. So again, most of these we can use out in other containers of the landscape when we're done with them here in spring containers. Of course, the lemon cypress, they're not hardy enough to live through our winters, but they make for great uh, like indoor plants and interim areas like where it's not super, super warm, maybe like in a cool entryway or something like that. They do well in our greenhouse and even in our sun porch, which is right in front of me. Uh, the hookah is of course perennial. Cyclamen is a great house plant. The alyssum we can use for summer containers. The primrose is the only thing. It says they're hardy enough in our area, but they typically don't come back for us year after year. Sometimes they do. And there they are. It's hard to get a backed up shot without my reflection in the window. So it's kind of nice because these up here, I'm actually really warm up here because the sun porch or this part of the porch is really protected. The sun porch portion 
uh, that's enclosed, that's on the west side of the house, the southwest side. So it provides a lot of protection for this area in here. Like I can hear the wind blowing, but it's not blowing right up here. And like the sun is on me right now and warming me up really, really quickly. So I think even if I didn't cover these plants, if we got too freezing or below, they would probably be just fine up here. If it looks like we're gonna dip, you know, 20 below, like 28 is hard frost territory, I'll probably cover them with some frost cloth. But at this point of the season, it feels worth it to have some color out here, even if we have to do a little bit of work to keep them happy. This is a wood porch though, so I do need to run down to the garden center. I'm gonna grab a couple of square saucers. That's what we had under them last year. We are due to get our house repainted, um, and this whole porch area needs to be thoroughly scraped and repainted uh, so but I still want to protect the surface as much as I can so anyway guys that is it for today I hope you enjoyed seeing the color and the fresh plants kind of the kickoff of the season I think I'm going to start planting outside even though everything's still leafless um, I I think I can dig holes therefore I will plant so thank you guys again for watching and we will see you in the next video